Hi, it's Jane Taylor here from Habits for Wellbeing. Welcome to the clip on how do I build and plan my wardrobe. So are you going to your wardrobe and finding nothing to wear? What about not knowing what clothes best suit your lifestyle? Or experiencing a change in circumstance that makes your clothes no longer suitable for the work or your lifestyle that you have? Well, the good news is that you're not alone. There are um, a number of people in a similar situation as you and the great thing is that I'm going to share with you a couple of tips on how to build and plan your wardrobe to suit your needs. The seven steps, seven steps to building and planning your wardrobe are Know your lifestyle Know your style personality As well as your budget Get your colours and style done with an image consultant Clear out your wardrobe, identify all of your clothes, and then finally, the fun part, start building your wardrobe. So step one, know your lifestyle. So what type of lifestyle do you have? Each week, we have 168 hours per week. How do you actually spend your hours? You may like to identify this in a pie chart similar to the one on the screen. So this example, this person spends 38% of their time playing sport, 31% at work, 12% home and relaxing, 11% shopping and socialising, and 9% entertaining. So within each of these areas, this person has a different set of clothes that's needed to suit their lifestyle. Step two is identify your style personality. So know your style personality and how you want to appear in the world. Remember it's all about balance and harmony. You want to know who you are on the inside as well as the outside so you can match the world around you. And remember a style and image consultant can help you with this. Step three is knowing your budget. Identify how much money you have to spend. Then identify your cost per wearing formula. This is important as sometimes cheaper clothes will actually cost you more in the long run than expensive clothes. Here's how this works. So the cost per wearing formula equals the garment cost including the upkeep so any dry cleaning or fixing up um, buttons that are missing, hems down, divided by the total number of expected wearings. So the total number of expected wearings is the number of wearings per week times the number of weeks in a month multiplied by the number of months in the year that the garment can be worn. So for example, are you living in a climate where you can wear swimmers 12 months of the year or are those swimmers only able to be worn 3 or 4 months of the year? Then you multiply that by the number of years that the garment can be worn. So this is where quality comes into play because good quality garments often last a lot longer than um, lesser quality garments. Then that equals the total number of wearings. So you can see on the screen cost per wearing equals the garment cost including the upkeep divided by the total number of expected wearings. So identify this for all of the clothes that you have. Or wanting to purchase. Step four is getting your colors and style done by an image consultant. So this steps important because you want to know that the clothes that you go and purchase are actually going to suit your colors as well as your body shape and the style and image that you're projecting within the world. Because you don't want to pay money for something that doesn't suit you because there's so much money that can be wasted with clothes not being worn in your wardrobe. Step five is clearing your wardrobe out. Now there's a YouTube clip from Habits for Being on clearing out your wardrobe. So have a look at that clip to see a more detailed view on this step. Step six is identify all of your clothes. Once you've cleared out your clothes, you can do the following. Doing an audit and an inventory and then planning. So as an example, you can identify or use a similar um, worksheet like the one on the screen, all your different pants, shirts and tops, jackets and vests, sweaters, jewellery and belts, shoes and socks, handbags, 
Identifying and putting that information in each of those boxes, you may want to include the colour and the fabrics of each of those different items. Then from here you can identify the different um, items that you actually need to purchase to match your lifestyle as well as your style personality. So just to go over, we've gone through step one, knowing your lifestyle. Step two, knowing your style personality. Three is know and plan your budget. Step four, getting your colours and style done with an image consultant. Step five, clearing out your wardrobe. Step six, identifying all of the clothes that you have. Then step seven, you can start building your wardrobe by filling in all the gaps that you've identified in the previous steps. And this is so much fun because you know what you're doing when you're going shopping, which is just an absolute blast. So there you have it, how to build and plan your wardrobe in seven easy steps. So if you'd like more information or have any more questions, please contact us at www.habitsforwellbeing.com. Thanks very much for your time.